IF Metal has been trying to dissuade major companies from doing business with Tesla or from buying Tesla vehicles. They've been doing everything they can to stop Tesla in Sweden. IF Metal's sympathy strikes against Tesla have resulted in 20 people losing their jobs. In November of 2023, Tesla says that IF Metal set its sights on Tesla Gigafactory Berlin with the goal to stop the factory's vehicle production. They're actually going after Tesla's Gigafactory in Berlin. And I'm curious to know if maybe some of these protesters are employed by IF Metal. The Swedish powerful union turned to aluminium supplier Hydro Extrusions in Vetlanda to achieve its objective. They convinced Hydro Extrusions to stop supplying Tesla with the aluminium parts it needs to build the Model Y at the Gigafactory in Berlin. As a result, 20 Hydro Extrusions employees have been notified by their employer that they are redundant. IF Metal has not protected their jobs, not offered them any sort of compensation, and they're now basically out on the street. The aluminium supplier had reservations about joining the Tesla strike. The biggest concern that it had was this, right? It believed that someone would just replace it. Um, so hydro extrusions makes you know, aluminium extrusions for Tesla's Model Y. And they, they thought, well, if we do this, then Tesla will have no choice. They'll have to replace this. And well, they were right. Tesla changed aluminium supplies for the Gigafactory in Berlin and production, well, it hit new milestones. Tesla temporarily paused production between the 29th of January and the 1st or the 11th of February because of supply chain issues. And that's primarily what this was about. Ultimately, IF Metals plan to stop Tesla's factory in Berlin from being able to produce vehicles failed. And 20 people lost their jobs when, well, they didn't need to. Tesla continues to dominate the car market in Sweden. Now, I was thinking to myself, are people feeling sorry for Tesla? I, I mean, Tesla are taking on the one of the biggest unions in the world. That union has pretty much declared war on Tesla. I think that's a pretty fair thing to say. If you look at their website, they pretty well state that. And it looks to me as though, well, the general population in Sweden don't seem to agree with what's going on. They're buying Tesla vehicles at record numbers. Tesla is completely dominating the car market in Sweden, which has now hit 60%, as in 60% of car sales are now electric in the country. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. You might be thinking, well, people might, they're, they're probably just buying Teslas because there's nothing else, right? There's, there's not many other models. There's not many other choices, but actually there's about 100. Well, no. I lie. There's more than a hundred different models of EVs you can buy in Sweden. There's a, a huge array of different vehicles to choose from. So it's, it's certainly not that that's the reason. Now, having a look at the actual car sales in Sweden, before I share with you some of the kind of slightly scary wording from IF Metal. By the way, IF Metal, the union in Sweden, which is um, in conflict with Tesla. Of course, um, Tesla doesn't want that conflict, but the, the union is demanding that Tesla sign an agreement with them. Um, they have done an interesting thing. What they have done is, my background is in marketing, SEO, that kind of stuff. What they have done is they have spent an immense amount of money. So if you Google Tesla Union IF Metal, something along those lines is about a hundred different terms. They come up first. It doesn't matter if you're looking from Australia or America, uh, their SEO is incredibly powerful. So they have spent an immense amount of money. And the reason they've done this is to try and ensure they are first place in Google search listings so that they control the story. They control the narrative in this negotiation. And what that means is that you, you really, if you want to know about this issue of what's going on with Tesla in Sweden and the this all powerful union, you only get one side of the story. You're only really hearing from, from the side of the story from IF Metal. But when it comes to car sales in Sweden, um, yeah, I mean, 58.1% of all cars sold have been electric cars. So Sweden is clearly going in the way of Norway. It's probably not that far from getting there. In the month of March, the Model Y didn't dominate as it usually has been in, in Sweden, but it did, it did do very, very well. The Model Y was the best-selling car in Sweden. 
2012 deliveries. Second place was the Volvo EX30 with 650. So yeah, you know, three times as many Model Ys were delivered than Volvo EX30s. Now, is the Volvo EX30 a good car? Absolutely, the Volvo EX30 is a, a great car. It's um, pretty affordable. And Volvo is the national brand. Um, it's almost like, say, if America only had Ford and they didn't have General Motors and Stellantis, they just had Ford, everything else was foreign, well, everyone would support Ford. That's just what people do, right? So it's amazing how Tesla is dominating sales there, in my opinion. Third, Volvo EX40 with 568 sales. Fourth was the Tesla Model 3. Um, in fifth was the Polestar 2, which, of course, uh, all Polestar vehicles, it's perceived as being a... Um, Swedish company, it's definitely not, it's Chinese, and they are built in China. Very, very nice cars though, no question. Audi Q4 e-tron, 331 sales. The Volkswagen ID4 continues to drop all across Europe and America, only 293 sales. The Cooper Born, 259. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of others there, but they're just in the, the small digits. If you look at Tesla's dominance though, for the entire year, this comes from Clean Technica, by the way, they've completely dominated the car market there. For the last three months, Tesla Model Y sales are nearly 3,600. Uh, that is a pretty staggering number. When you, when you consider that second place Volvo XC40 has 1,696 deliveries. So Tesla sold more than twice as many Model Ys as the second best selling vehicle. The, the Model 3 is much further down the list. And that's probably to do with the fact that Tesla does has been shipping new Model 3s from China to, to Europe, and it's a bit more of a process than simply shipping a Model Y from the German factory to Sweden. Now, getting back and having a look at there for the last three months, third place is the Volvo EX30 with 1,284 deliveries in fourth was the Polestar 2, fifth, the Audi Q4 e-tron, Volvo C40 was next with 807, followed by the Volkswagen ID4. Tesla Model 3, 680 sales was the next, followed by the Skoda Enyaq, the Kia EV9, and the Volkswagen ID3. Now, I'm curious to know what you guys think about this, but here's what it says on the uh, website that IF Metal um, has created or part of their website. And if you Google anything about this, it's gonna come up first no matter what you do. Background information on IF Metal's conflict at Tesla. It says the main reason for IF Metal to take industrial action at Tesla is to ensure that our members have decent and safe working conditions. Now, I should point out that there has been a vote at Tesla in Sweden, and they have voted against this happening. So Tesla did allow them to vote, and I believe they did vote against it. They said over a long period of time, we've attempted to discuss with Tesla the signing of a collecting agreement, yet without success. Now we see no solution other than to take industrial action. Now, to be fair, uh, in Europe, people try to... Um, change the interpretation of what's going on here. Objectively speaking, I've done a lot of research on this. I've read lots of articles. To me, this is like the, the UAW in the United States going to Tesla and saying, unless you sign, we will sabotage your company. Now, I know a lot of people are going to disagree with that if you're from, from Europe. And people have sent me emails saying they disagree. You know the way they disagree? They say, well, it's normal in Sweden. You know, almost everyone is part of the union. But just because it's normal doesn't mean it's fair or correct or morally right to force a company to join your union. And that's what's happening here. Even the union themselves admit to that. If you actually scroll down further, it says here, collective agreements, which is union unionizing, is part of the Swedish labor market model. This means that the trade unions determine the rules of the game in the labor market without interference from the government or politicians. Does that sound like a monopoly to you? The trade unions are not influenced by the, the government. They have, the government can't do anything about it. And the trade unions control all labor in Sweden. That sounds like a shocking situation to me. Now, I'm not saying that that um, has been shocking for Swedish employees. Maybe they think it's a good thing. I don't know, but it doesn't seem to me as though the general population in general would agree they're not boycotting Tesla. IF Metal wants people to stop buying Teslas. They're trying their hardest to get that to happen. But instead, the Tesla Model Y is not only the best-selling electric car in Sweden, it's the best-selling car, period, and has been now for the last three months after this all blew up. I don't think this is working in the way that IF Metal thought it would. I think it looks a bit more like there's a bully in the school ground 
picking on someone smaller than him. Now, I know Tesla globally is, is huge. That's true. But they're not in Sweden. This is really going after Tesla Sweden. And its employees appear to kind of be um, sick of this. They, they're sick of all this. They think that it's not necessary. Their engineers have very publicly stated on many occasions that the working conditions at Tesla in Sweden are, are good. They're happy with them. And if they weren't, they would leave or they would be talking about it to the media. That's for sure. Now, I should point out that signing an agreement with the union is almost identical to signing an agreement with an American automotive union. You sign an agreement that you'll pay this much money, et cetera, et cetera. The union makes a, a percentage of all salaries to cover the union's cost, et cetera. Um, and that's how things work. It's meant to protect people who are unionized. Now, does it always protect them? Well, I've been a part of unions in the past and I didn't feel like I was protected. I, I didn't feel like um, it really made any difference. Not to say that I was fired, but I didn't. I, I had a few things happen where I thought, well, that doesn't seem fair. And I thought the union would get involved and they, they never actually did. Now, you might've had an experience where the opposite happened. Maybe you had an experience where you felt like being part of a union saved your job or protected you or made, made it go from an unsafe workplace to a safe workplace. But in this situation, I don't think anyone is publicly saying that working at Tesla in Sweden is unsafe or unfair or things are being done to staff there that um, are not good and should be changed. Now, regardless of all of this, guys, I think for me, the big takeaway here is actually not so much Tesla, um, not so much about the Sweden and IF Metal and their trade practices, which I am shocked by. I think is sabotaging a company is... Um, is is going too far and to be fair the uaw in the america it makes them look like princesses it makes them look like fairies who <laughs> to be honest i have metal is so aggressive the things they're doing it really does make uh the american unions look like they're really friendly and they're not but much nicer that's for sure but what i really take away from this story is that regardless of this conflict uh, the swedes they want evs they realize they're better cars. They've probably seen the example of Norway, but also people in Sweden are, are smart enough to know that EVs are so much better in so many ways, better for your health, better for your pocket than internal combustion. So kudos to people in Sweden for buying electric cars, no matter what the circumstances are. Thanks for watching.